Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video we are doing the August Glossy Box unboxing and as you can see from the box in front of you it isn't the usual baby pink box, it is a glittery holographic lid. I've propped it up so it's easier to take off and the way the light hit it, it actually looks like a rainbow which is so cool but it is actually a holographic as you can see and then it does have kind of like cake icing drips down the side and then the bottom part is the usual pink but it does say the birthday edition. I have actually put some holographic polish on my nails in aid of it as well so they might look a little bit messy because I haven't long done them but yeah this is outside the box, such a, such a pretty box and really love the design of it. And then inside the lid it's pink as well. And then here we have the packaging inside. We have the usual card at the top, which I will put to one side for now. And then instead of the usual black tissue paper, we have a pink tissue paper with a white ribbon. And they've even gone so far as to put a holographic sticker on it. So I'll take that off. Great attention to detail with this packaging of this box. And even on the inside, we have some sparkly tinsel instead of the usual black tissue paper. So that's great. So let's go through what is inside. First thing we have here is from the brand Fair. This is Rose Gold Lash Curler. Let's have a look inside that. See what I can get inside the box. Okay, that's a really pretty lash curler. I think all the ones I've had have just been plain old silver, so it is really nice. They do kind of intimidate me slightly. I can't actually remember the last time I reached for one. I'm usually just happy with the effect that I get off mascara. So I don't know how much I am actually going to reach for this. There may be a friend or family member I might actually pass these on to make better use of them because they are so pretty. And if you do use them on a regular basis, why not have a rose gold pair? And we have from the brand Beauty Pro and these are eye therapy under eye masks with a collagen and green tea. So this is just one pair for single use. I've used various different eye patches recently and I have quite liked the effect that they've given. They've definitely helped with sort of puffiness that I do get under the eyes when I am tired. So we'll be definitely making use of these. I do recognise the packaging so I don't know if I've tried these before but I don't necessarily recognise the name of the brand Beauty Pro, but keen to give these a go, and collagen and green tea are both good ingredients to have, and will definitely sort of brighten up my under eye area, so excited to give these a go. And what's this here? More holographic packaging. This is Bang Beauty, which I think I have heard of, but I think it's been through other unboxings from maybe some American subscription services that I've seen online. I'm not too sure what this actually is. Uh, felt tip eyeliner. Another thing that seems to be a staple in a lot of subscription services. But it is really nice packaging. It has actually got the plastic on it, so I'm not going to take that off at the moment just in case I don't end up using it. I do have a lot of black eyeliners at the moment. And to be honest, I do think the felt tip is more preference to me than the brush tip. So I might break into this one, but I will keep it packaged for now. But it's really lightweight, which is nice. It's not too heavy to hold and the, the packaging is nice and simple. And I do like the, the packaging of the box as well. Then we have, oh, this is the Huda Beauty item. So this is a Huda Beauty lip strobe and I got the shade Angelic, which I think, if I remember rightly, is one of the more neutral shades that we could have got. So I am happy with that. I will, when I look into the book, let's see what the other shades were. I'm not a huge kind of metallic lip wearer or lip gloss wearer, but I did say if I got a neutral shade, I would be tempted to give it a go because I do really like Huda Beauty lip products that I've tried. So I'll have a think about that at the moment, whether I'm going to use it, but it is a really nice shade and it's kind of a rose gold metallic pink. It's just not my cup of tea, so we'll see about that one. And then the final product is, oh okay, it's Imperial Leather Foam Burst and this is, is it a body wash? Yes. 
So it says it's a body wash and the shower gel that I use every single day is Imperial Ever Foam Burst. So I will definitely be making use of this. This says it is golden amber and coconut oil. So that sounds like it'd be really nice. I've not seen these before. I just use, I've, I've tried different variations, but I just use a normal foam burst. And I think mine's called shower gel, but this says it's a body wash, a whipped cream body wash. So it is just a normal shower gel, I would say, but it's got one quarter moisturising oils, three day moisture with one use, cleansers and conditions in one step, up to 15 showers per pack. I would probably agree with that, 15 showers per pack. I usually get, obviously, the full size ones of the foam burst and they last so long because of it being a pressurised can and it being a foam. A little goes a long way with these, so I'm really excited to give this a go. Um, I definitely get a lot of dry skin, so anything moisturising is great. And if this is moisturising enough, it might mean I can do with without using my in-shower moisturiser, which I use is the Nivea, I think it is. Uh, I use this, I use the normal foam base and then I use that moisturiser. So if this is good, then I might be able to get rid of that other step out of the shower. So that'd be great. Excited to give this one a go. So that's it for the product contained. Seems to go through them quite quickly. So just to recap, we have the foam base body wash, the Bang Beauty eyeliner, the Huda Beauty lip strobe, the rose gold eyelash curlers and finally the under eye patches so let's go through the prices of these so here is the bucket for this month and as you can see it is the birthday edition oh there's something inside let's see what this is first our advent calendar is back how are we already discussing christmas it is barely august but let's see what it says this year's advent calendar bigger and better worth under over £370, Chloe, Dermalogical Tart and NYX, subscriber exclusive from the Friday the 6th of September for £70. That's not too bad of a deal to be honest. Normally the advent calendars that have a lot of stuff in like this are around £100. I did go to buy numerous advent calendars last year but just never bit the bullet because I couldn't justify that cost. But I may ask someone to get me it towards Christmas maybe because it does look like it's going to be really good. So I'm going to keep hold of that to remind me to ask someone to buy me it in September. So on to the contents of this box. The first one we have here is the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe which it says retails for £17. I've seen them online for that so I know that price is correct. And um, we could have received one of four. The shades are Angelic. Rosé, Ritzy, Champagne, Bougie, Coral or Fearless Purple. So I'm definitely glad I received the Rosé one. I think the Champagne one would have been too gold for me to want to apply on my lips. I'm not a big Coral fan, plus if that's a Coral that's quite bright, it looks more red toned and I definitely wouldn't have worn the purple. So I am glad with the shade I've got and I think I'm going to take that as a sign that I should give it a go because I if I don't like it, I can, I've got friends I can pass it on to. It just meant if I wouldn't touch it, I would have put it in a giveaway probably. But I think I will give it a go because it's a bit of a change for me. Um, speaking of giveaways, I do still have my giveaway ongoing at the moment. It does end on the 10th, so you've got a few more days to enter that if you want to. I think it's probably the quickest I've received my glossy box, so I managed to get it up before the giveaway ended. So there will be a link to the giveaway video in the description box if you want to go and enter before that ends on the 10th. I'm probably going to do another giveaway, most likely on the two-year anniversary of me having my YouTube channel, which is towards the end of September. So not too far away, but I'm probably, it's not probably going to be a massive giveaway, but I probably will do something to kind of celebrate that. So keep an eye out on my channel for that. Um, back to the content of this box. So the next thing we have is the Fair Lashes Rose Gold Lash Curler. This is, it retails for £15. To be honest, if I'm ever going to go and buy a lash curler, I'm more likely to go and buy one in the likes of either Primark or Superdrug. I can't say that I would spend that much on an eyelash curler. But if it works and they're good, then maybe it can justify the cost. But I personally wouldn't spend that amount on an eyelash curler. Then we have the Imperial Leather um, Body Wash. This one, so this deluxe size is worth £2 and the full size is £5. I don't think I pay much more than £3 for the full size foam burst. So whether... 
this one is more expensive because of the moisturising for three days or things, I'm not too sure. But I say if I like it, it would definitely be something that I'd consider purchasing in the future because I'd, I've been using foam base for years and I want to do really like it. Then we have the Bang Beauty Felt Tip Liner. So this one retails for £15.75. Again, more than I'd spend on a liquid eyeliner. I do tend to go more drugstore. But I do like to tart my to one, which is about £20. So I will spend my if it's good enough so so i'm not too sure whether to open that one yet or not or potentially put that in the giveaway in september and then finally we have the beauty pro eye therapy eye patches and the sample or the one use ones that we've got is the Lux mini which is worth £1.65 and you can get full size which is £4.95 it doesn't say how many are included in the full size but based on the gram size I'd say it's only maybe two or three pairs and that's $4.95 so again this is something if I do really like them I would consider paying $4.95 for a few more to try them out because I am really struggling with my under eyes at the moment with dark circles and kind of puffiness and things so keen to give these ones a go. Overall it's another one where it's not really the best box I've had but it's by any means not the worst these two are kind of questionable as to whether I'll make good use out of them. Say the eyeliner, I'm not too sure. These two are the only ones that I'm really excited to use. The cost of these alone, it doesn't really justify the cost of the box. But I've noticed when we last got a Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty liquid lipstick from them, the rest of the products in the box were slightly lower value because this product alone is £17. So if you make good use of that, obviously the box has paid for itself, but it's just a matter of preference really and I don't know if a lot of people will like this so I'm not too sure let's see what is the sneak peek for next month so we have September next month we'll be giving you a taste of food inspired beauty delicious beauty edit will be filled with scrumptious smelling treats including 100% natural can't pronounce that word caffeine based body exfoliator Formulated with black Assam tea and nourishing essentials, it will buff away dull and dry skirt, dry, dry, ugh, can't speak, dry cells, leaving you with soft, smooth and glowing skin. So, don't know, I've heard of coffee scrubs before, but I've never heard of a tea scrub. The only thing I think of with the coffee scrubs are they make a hell of a mess in your shower. So, not too sure where I stand with this one, whether I'm excited for it or not. I have actually cancelled my subscription at the moment because I was on a three month plan so I did cancel after the third month which was August but I did say I would sign up again on the 1st of September if I was intrigued by the sneak peek so I'm gonna have to have a think about it and see if I do see any more sneak peeks released around the 1st of September and then if I am in if I am intrigued enough then I will give it another go but I don't think I'll do another three months I'll just do it on a monthly rolling basis just to see how I get on but yeah so I was expecting a bit more from the birthday edition if I'm honest I just think the kind of cashing in on the Hughes Beauty not necessarily a bad thing it is a good brand and um, but yeah that's it and these are the items that I've received and um, with regards to my next video which is usually Friday I was at a wedding over the weekend, just gone, and I've used up all my pre-filmed videos. I don't have any in the bank, as it were, to put up on Friday, and it's a very busy week, so there may not be a video on Friday, so the next video will most likely be Wednesday, uh, but that's just to keep you informed. Keep an eye on your notifications if you are signed up to them, and you'll obviously be told when my video next video is uploaded. But that's it for this unboxing. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.